Well, it's great to know that this is the first episode in season three. That means we've entered a new quarter on the program. Oh, I must say a very big thank you to you for being a part of Nimasa this week. And guess what? Today's edition will be saying a lot of thank yous because a lot of people made it work for the maritime sector. And Nimasa will be saying thank you to such people. you get to know the people who are saying such big thank yous to. But up on the list will be you because, as I said, you're the one who sits to watch and who's supporting the industry. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll be meeting a very beautiful lady. She's called the Belle of the North very amiable lady. We'll be talking with her later on on the program and the main focus is going to be on the awards dinner appreciation night that Nimasa is putting together. For some of us, you'll be watching this program after that event, but some, it will be before. Either way, it doesn't matter. We'll be catching you up to speed on that particular event. My name is Cordelia Obey. Hope you're having a very good evening. Welcome. This is Nimasa this week. Every great nation is also a great shipping country. Every great shipping country is a great nation. Maritime in Nigeria is growing, so you need to be informed about the work of the regulatory body of the Nigerian maritime industry. My name is Daku Kupidesai. I bet you, you're going to find out that it's a time well spent. For news, views, and reviews, join us every week on the station on the Massa This Week. As I said at the beginning of the program, we'll be showing appreciation to a lot of people and organizations that made it possible that the management of NIMASA did succeed and the maritime sector did very well. Let's start off from the very top. Each agency has a parent body, if I may say so. And for NIMASA is the Ministry of Transportation, led by His Excellency, uh, the Honorable Rotimi Chibuike Amechi. They've been very supportive, that ministry, making sure that the management of NIMASA had everything it needed to work and work more than it had ever worked. So from the PAM secretaries uh, to the directors, even down to the cleaner there, <laughs> NIMASA is saying thank you. The Federal Ministry of Transport is responsible for rail and marine transport and intermodern coordination. The mandate policies, programs, and budgets are implemented through the various agencies at the Ministry. Some of the agencies under the Transportation Ministry include Nigeria Railway Corporation, the Nigeria Ports Authority, NPA, the Nigeria Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NEMASA, Nigeria Shippers Council, National Inland Waterways Authority, NIWA, Nigeria Institute of Transport Technology, NIT, Zaria, and Maritime Academy of Nigeria, Man Oron. The vision of the ministry is to evolve a world-class transportation system in Nigeria and to position it as a hub in West and Central Africa. The management of NEMASA appreciates the support of the Right Honorable Rotimi Chibike Amechi-led ministry. You have a rejuvenated NEMASA. Hate us, like us, hate NEMASA, like the matter, hate the management of the matter, like the board of uh, the board of the matter, there is a new the matter. The actual responsibility of the matter is that the matter is a regulatory authority. There is no change that comes without without what? Pain. So if you think that you'll be making those changes and they'll be clapping for you, you are wasting your time. I want to also congratulate you and the entire management and board of NIMASA for a new NIMASA. For activities to really 
be as smooth as they need to be at the ports in Nigeria, the authorities in charge of Nigerian ports have to cooperate. If they don't, that will become a major problem for the maritime sector. They are a sister body under the Federal Ministry of Transportation. I'm talking about the Nigerian Ports Authority. And Imasa is saying that we need to thank them too for all the work they have done to make sure there has been efficiency and effectiveness at the ports in Nigeria. The Nigerian Ports Authority, NPA, is a federal government agency that governs and operates the ports in Nigeria. The major ports include Lagos Port Complex and Tincan Island Port Complex, both in Lagos State, the Calabar Port Complex in Crossover State, the Delta Ports in Wari, Delta State, and the Rivers Port Complex and Oné Port Complex, both in River State. Services the Nigerian Ports Authority renders include harbor services, cargo handling, marine services, health, safety, and environment services, security services, commercial services, and land and estate services. Ms. Hadiza Bala Usman is the managing director of the NPA, and the management team has Dr. Sakonte Davis as the executive director of Marine and Operations. It is very, very important for us to ensure that we deploy technology, recycling technology and alternative technology. We have the African Circle, which is now setting up some facilities, like in Bonnie, where they want to recycle some of these um, plastics as a means of wealth creation. Re recycling used materials is a means, in fact, it's a veritable means of wealth creation. And it's very, very important that we, we, we participate and we encourage such provision. Okay. NPA, thank you very much. From there, let's move on to another sister body under the Ministry of Transportation. We're talking about the Nigeria Shippers Council. This is a body that has thrown its full weight behind the work Nimasa is doing. And it has made sure that the work has been so smoothly done that they are saying that 2019 can only get better because 2018 was splendid. And so, thank you to Nigeria Shippers Council. The statutory functions of the Nigerian Shippers' Council are as follows. Efficient and timely delivery of shipping services to the importers and exporters by the shipping services providers under the most economical arrangements. Moderation and stabilization of costs, freight rates, port charges, local shipping charges, haulage charges, etc. Regular and reliable advice to the federal government on matters affecting the shipment of goods to and from Nigeria. From 1997, the Cotonou II World Bank Roundtable Conference on Marine Trade in West and Central Africa resolved that Shippers Council in the sub-region should protect importers and exporters through the transport chain. In line with the federal government port reform agenda, the Nigerian Shippers Council was appointed the Port Economic Regulator in February 2014 to create effective regulatory regime at the Nigerian ports for the control of tariff, rates, charges, and other economic services. The executive management of the Nigerian Shippers Council has an executive secretary as its CEO. Barrister Hassan Bello leads the team. Uh, Nigerian Shippers Council is making meaningful, noticeable impact on Nigeria's maritime economy. The Council at the Port Economic Regulator is regulating tariffs, rates, charges, related economic services in order to make our ports competitive because our ports are competing with other ports. Um, so we need the safety that is guaranteed by NIMASA uh, so that commerce and international trade will strive. All right, we've been seeing a lot of thank yous on the program today, but we'll be taking a little breather to bring you something that we will be sharing with you because this is the major thank you for the year. Talking about the Nimasa Appreciation and Awards Night, it's a big deal. It's a beautiful time. And one woman has been working very hard with her various committees to make sure that the day would go 
beautifully. And I'm talking about the director in charge of special duties at Nimasa, Hajia Lami Tumaka. We had a sit down with her. She said a lot of things. We had a lot of things to talk about. We'll be sharing part of it with you today. And as the program progresses, we'll be bringing others to share with you. All right, you're still watching the Massa this week, and today I'm rather excited because it's more like the first time I'm having a female guest to interview. Yes, finally, girl power, yes. And I have a lady who is called the Belle of the North. Very intelligent, a woman who's had her legs in journalism, public relations, and now Everything put together is what she's tackling because they all fall under special duties. I'm talking about the Director of Special Duties, External Relations and Technical Cooperation of NIMASA, Hajia Lami Tumaka. Welcome. Thank you very much. Now, let's go straight to talk about some of the things that have been happening. Last year, you had a lot of things going on, the international scene and so on, technical relations, capacity development relations with international bodies and so on. How would you rate everything and how did you manage to get them? Uh, last year was fantastic. It was, we had um, beautiful, um, successful um, outings. We had um, lots of collaborations with the International Maritime um, Organization, where consultants came into Nigeria to have um, training programs for us. And the benefit of having them come to Nigeria is that you have a, a larger number of uh, participants mm -hmm. that can benefit from the trainings at no cost, so to speak. We also had um, collaboration with the Gulf of Guinea, um, my unit, that is, um, NIMASA, actually. We worked with the Gulf of Guinea on um, the blue economy. The blue economy is the latest trend in the maritime industry. The blue economy is just that what we have under the sea mm -hmm. is, we've not explored it, is a source of wealth for the country. And talking about conferences, let's go back to 2018 again. There was the one that really interested me. It had to do with women in the maritime sector. That's talking about women in maritime Africa, WIMA. They, they had that session. And I'm sure there are other things that Nimasa did with them and for all the stakeholders who were female in that sector. Nimasa is very gender sensitive. We sponsored, we were part sponsors of uh, the WIMA Africa conference. You can't ignore the women. Mm -mm. You do that at your own peril. I agree with you. What they did was to bring women from all over Africa again, sat down, collaborated, discussed, dissected the various issues affecting the woman in the Africa, in the maritime industry. That means the prospects are very bright for females in, the, in that sector. Absolutely. Hmm, nice to know. Absolutely. Nice to know. Uh, let's come back to NIMASA now as an agency. All through 2018, we kept hearing about the changes that are taking place, the things that had been put in place and so on. They were sounding so revolutionary. Were you able to achieve some of these things? If yes, tell us a bit about we that. We did. We did. NIMASA was automated in 20. 18. Mm. Our entire processes are now automated. What that means is that you take away the human element. You deal mainly online. Our stakeholders submit their manifest online. It's faster. We, we, our processes are faster, meaning we're more efficient. The automation, we, we, had inter we, had, we, we had interaction with our stakeholders and they said it's the best thing that could have come out of NIMASA. So NIMASA ended the, 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 the year on a very, very, very high note by achieving the total automation of our processes. That's very nice. Okay, enough of all this business business. Let's talk about what we've been advertising for some weeks now. The appreciation night, the dinner, 
that beautiful evening. Before this recording, we we're talking a bit about it. Tell us about this night that Nimasa has set aside to celebrate the staff, celebrate stakeholders. First and foremost, why did you think you should be doing that? It's um, a reward system, so to speak, you know, for our stakeholders that um, have performed fantastically well in the previous year and also for staff to serve as motivation you know when you uh, there, there's reward in excellence if you do very well you'll be rewarded and to unwind for staff and our stakeholders to unwind i call it a night of bliss glamour and everything beautiful Mm. You are invited. You will be there. You will be the one to tell the world what it was, uh, you know, your experience on that night. It's going to be a beautiful night. We have stars that are going to entertain guests. We have comedians that are going to keep us on our feet all uh, throughout the night. And um, we have, in addition to industry stakeholders that are going to be that are going to be present, we have VVIPs that um, have confirmed to us that they're going to attend that wonderful night. We have General Abdul Salam, he has confirmed he'll be coming. We have Dangote, Aliko Dangote, he has confirmed he'll be there. We have governors who have confirmed they're going to be there. It's a high octane night. I will not re reveal more than this. You will leave it when you attend the program. But there's something I'd like you to reveal. You usually have the staff of the year. Yes. How do you pick it? Or yes. how do you pick the staff of the year? Yes, that's another innovation that um, was introduced by this um, management, all in, in, in an attempt to make us in knowledgeable, not to improve the knowledge base of the staff. Um, we, all the departments participate I chair, I chair the committee. In, we work in collaboration with uh, uh, PricewaterCooper, PwC, and every month a staff from different departments emerges as the employee of the month based on the submissions we receive from the departments, from the units, from the zones. Even the zones are part of this. And based on what is submitted, the innovations, those who have innovations normally get um, the, highest, um, the highest marks. We, we, we mark them on, um, on core values and competence in doing the job. Mm. I'm very sure even you do not know who that person will be. No, so, I don't. So it, it is, will be a surprise. It will be a surprise. It's on that day that the winner is announced. Mm. The one that emerged last year was announced on, on, uh, at that venue, and the whole place was, went ecstatic. For me, I was quite pleased and quite proud to be part of it because it showed acceptability. The work that PwC did was, um, was, was generally accepted as being the right choice. Thank you very much for being our guest on the program today. You're still watching Nimasa this week, and as we've had as guests, Director of Special Duties, External Relations and Technical Cooperation of Nimasa, Haji Alami Tumaka. The program continues, but at this point, I say thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. And I wish you a very happy new year. Compliments of the season. The same to you. You know, when you give somebody money to start a business, to go to school, or to do anything at all, and the person is doing very well, you feel proud, right? Yeah, you feel your money hasn't been wasted. I believe that is how Nimasa is feeling too, whenever they see Maritime Academy of Nigeria in Oran. The part fund that uh, Maritime Academy and the progress we made there has been splendid. Six years, nothing really went down, but they had a graduation recently. That was a beautiful session. Nimasa was well represented, and they're very proud of the fact that the agency, or rather, the academy is doing very well in human capacity building. And so, Nimasa is also saying thank you to man or on.
Maritime Academy of Nigeria is designed as an integrated institution for the education and training of shipboard officers, ratings and shore-based management personnel. The Academy graduated its first batch of cadets in 1983. In 1988, the scope of the college was upgraded by the promulgation decree number 16 of 1988 with a statutory mandate to train all levels and categories of personnel required for the effective and efficient operation of all facets of the Nigerian maritime industry. Some colleges at Man Oron include School of Nautical Studies, which provides sound academic and professional training for Nigeria and foreign midshipmen and women. School of Marine Engineering, which has a philosophy to train competent marine engineers and marine electrotechnology officers in line with international best practices. And the School of Maritime Transport, which trains manpower for management capacities in maritime and other allied fields such as the oil and gas industry. Commodore Duja Emmanuel Fedwa is the rector of the academy. We should give thanks to the Honorable Minister of Transportation, uh, Right Honorable Chibike Rotimi Amechi, for listening to the maritime stakeholders and um, ensuring that the restructuring actually happened. Because he made sure that he was keeping weekly tabs on us to know how well we were doing. We took up the challenge, it was like an uphill task, or with the contributions of the IMC, their recommendations. I had the great job of doing the implementation and um, we have done our best at this 80% of what we set out to do we have achieved. A lot of people contributed to the good work Nimasa has done uh, for 2018 and they too will be supporting even more in 2019. We can't mention everybody but I'm very sure all the stakeholders are proud of the job they have done so far. I will also move on now to say a very big thank you to the seaport terminal operators led by Dr. Vicky Hastrov. The Ship Owners Association of Nigeria led by engineer Greg Uwefu. Barrister Mrs. Margaret Orako, she's led Ship Owners Forum and the ever dependable Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria. Nimasa says a very big thank you to all of you. The media, thank you. The Nigerian police, the Navy, everybody, thank you all very much. And again, I must always say thank you for supporting Nimasa this week and the maritime sector. When they earn good wages, of course, it will spawn them to work. It will actually their performance level will be high and ultimately it will be good for even the those of us their employers of labor who are their employers the terminal operators you know so we want to say a big thank you to nimasa nimasa has been the one that has made midwife the entire process of the collective bargaining and this one is not an exception this one is actually it's uh, this is one of the best collective bargaining that we have uh, that's been conducted by NIMASA. We're experiencing a good thing coming from the angle of NIMASA to the DG and his, and his team. I want to thank every one of them for this support we enjoy from them. 2019 is going to be your best year ever. A year of limitless opportunities. A year that you live to remember for what you will accomplish, especially in the maritime sector. All right, thank you. I have to step aside now. That has been the program for today, Nimasa, this week. When we come back next week, all the things being equal, we'll be sharing highlights with you from the awards night, the appreciation night, the beautiful night, as you heard Haji Alamit Maka say. It's going to be splendid. I'll see you next time. My name is Cordelia Obey. Do you remember our election is around the corner? Please take it easy. Ask your children the youths around you, to be smart about everything. Don't let anybody use you. Take care. Bye.